Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 556. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 551 to 557. In this trick here, we want to build a pivot table and see how to change the source data. And we'll do it three ways. We'll see how to uh, just refresh because pivot tables have a cache of data that doesn't change until you refresh it. Uh, we'll see how to actually change if we add new records to the bottom and you, you don't have some sort of dynamic range. We'll see how to update that using a button in the pivot table ribbon. And we'll also see how to use um, Excel table. So here's our little data set. I'm going to click in one cell and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Um, I'm going to avoid insert pivot table, pivot table. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt NVT. Alt NVT. Now I'm going to put it right here just so we can be close in and take a look. Click right there. Now I have mine set up in classic view. You can right click pivot table options and get rid of that under display. In earlier versions you take sales rep and drag to uh, the actual sheet. In this version, uh, much easier. Drag down here. All right, So we have our little table. Now, uh, let's come over here, and I'm going to change Sue to $10, right? Sue's 4 did not update, but if you right click, refresh, there's also a button up there. Now it has updated, the cache in memory has updated, there's the refresh button. Now what if you add new records down here? So Sue had a 2 and a 3. Right click refresh will not do it because that is outside the range. So if you haven't um, something you do only occasionally, you can simply come up to options and click here. In earlier versions, you have to go back into the uh, pivot table wizard three steps and in step two change the, uh, the data source. But here there's a button, options, pivot table, tools, options, change source. And then there it is. And then we can simply highlight and then click OK. So now when we come over here, there it is, 18. Now, uh, the if you're using 2003, 7, or 10, there is in 2003, it's called list. In later version 7 and 10, it's called table feature. Control L or Control, that's in 2003, in 2000 and 7 and 10 we use control T. I'm going to click OK. Now what has happened when you did a when you create a table like this is there are some names control F3. You can see there's a table so it's it's memorized this and in behind the scenes it knows that this is a table. So if we start adding new records or columns, it will automatically um, the ranges will update and so will any pivot tables or charts or formulas. Now let's go ahead and NV Alt NV Alt NVT. Let's see if I can put this way over here. It's dangerous to put a pivot table by a pivot table because if we get it uh, expanding, but just for this video I'll do it here. Okay, click OK. And then sales rep, sales. All right, so now we have the same little table. But if I come to the end and tab, will automatically, um, you can actually start typing down there too. I usually like to do tab. And then Sue, um, 25. So if I come over here, we've added a new record. All I have to do now, because it's, it's still, there is a cache of data, and it didn't automatically update like formulas do, you have to come over and right click refresh. And now it updates. So that's using the built in dynamic ranges. So uh, right click refresh, use your uh, change data source, or go ahead and use a list or table feature for changing the source data for a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next.